blues. Where did it come from? Nobody knows. Blues songs tell you a story. Some of them about the good and some of them about the bad, which is life. Buddy Guy, right this way, folks. I grew up on the plantation in Louisiana. I didn't know what a guitar was until I got a certain age. I would take four nails and try to tie it in any kind of wire to make it so I could hear. Body Guy is he's a revelation. He is the Moses of the blues. He literally parts the sea. He's the one that created a certain frequency, a certain vocabulary. Jimmy Hendrix would tell you, man, it wouldn't be me without this cat, you know? I didn't really know about Buddy Guy. And when I dove into him, I started going to record stores and, and finding out about a lot of artists that I didn't know existed. I was like, why don't we know about these people? Why aren't they playing on the radio? No, it ain't easy. This traveling life. Buddy wants to inspire as many young people to do what he's doing. Whoever he hears about, yeah, come on up and play. Well, he got to be one of the best guitar players I ever heard. But he still views himself as the kid among Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf because he was the kid. Hey, buddy, what's, what's up, up man? man? How you doing, man? Man, I'm hanging in there. You're sounding know? awesome, man. And hopefully, I can get Quinn and a few more young people to hang on so they, the young generation of people will know, oh, this is where I came from. Buddy used to tell me, in case who died first, don't let the blues die. The Wolf told me that. Junior used to tell me that. So from that group, who's still left? Um, me. Music speaks in all languages. I'm just blessed to be able to play guitar well enough for somebody to listen. I made a Muddy Waters a promise. I got to keep on picking.